The coffee is black. The robot is very, very frisky. And I'd like to welcome you to the Monday, August 25th edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where mad scientist Bill is going crazy. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not going crazy, but I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, if you followed any of my videos, you realize that I've showed you several old Erector sets. And one of the oldest sets that I'm trying to get ready for building purposes is a, an old Model 6, uh, copyright 1919 Erector that actually had a motor. I got it from Canada. I got it in very good shape. And I decided today that I was going to try to see if I could get this old motor to work. Uh, a lot of you don't realize it, but my background is electronics. I am a wizard at electronics. Well, you should figure that out. I mean, I got the the Atom Smasher. I got the Blinky Eyes. I got Rudolph. I got Bells. I got all kinds of Wonderful pro and now you know different things that I built myself. Most of them I did build myself, and I, I really my uh, my degree in college was uh, electronic technology with a major in computer hardware and a min minor in software engineering. So I got a pretty well-rounded uh, technical. And besides that, I went to technical school for two years in in Pittsburgh, Penn Tech, for two years from '65 through '60. Seven. So I'm an electronic technician slash engineer. Anyhow, a while back I did uh, one uh, on a motor. I, I bought this kit and I, I got it. Uh, I, I wrapped the armatures uh, it, and uh, I, I actually got it to work. It actually worked pretty good. So uh, I didn't think hardly anything of getting this old motor that was in this uh, 1919 a rector uh, set to run. The first thing I did is I cleaned it. Um, and the second thing I did, I studied it. <laughs> I studied what little I had of it. They had all kinds of complicated things, you know, they got a, uh, a reversing basin, uh, this and that, and, and I, I decided, well, I didn't need all that stuff, I'm going to just make the make the thing to work. I mean, it's just a motor, just like this is a motor. So, uh, the problem was that they had four connectors. It's not really a problem. And I'll explain to you what they did. They had the two bottom connectors uh, that went uh, to the coil. Just like, see this coil right here? That's a separate, uh, that's a magnet. What, what that does is basically it's an electromagnet and it magnetizes these uh, these cores. And then the other two, the, the middle two, basically they uh, went to the armature. See the uh, there's a spring inside there with a little piece of... Doesn't that look gunky? You say, well Bill, if you can make this work... <laughs> I, I cleaned it up with the WD-40 a little bit and went through about five of these uh, hefty towels, but I did clean it up uh, remarkably so, and uh, and did uh, so so I, I could see what it was there. That was the first thing I did. The second thing I did, uh, I took out my own meter, my uh, my trusty uh, VOM. In school, we used to, when I was going to technical school back in 65 and 66 uh, and 67, we had uh, what were called VTVMs, vacuum tube, tube voltmeters. Heathkit sold them and ICO sold them. Well, I had an old ICO VTVM. Uh, but uh, this, uh, this VOM is certainly... Uh, the Taj Mahal of meters and is much better than whatever I had before. So what I did is I measured the uh, resistance of uh, of that coil. See that coil? That coil is the coil that magnetizes 
the core that goes around the armature. This is the armature and this is the, the, the motor core. This has to be magnetized for the thing to work. And each of these independent coils have to be uh, magnetized in uh, in the right order, and that's why you have this uh, armature. See the the little springs push the carbon rods up against the commutator. See all these big words. Let me zoom in there. See that right there with the kind of a there's three sections of that commutator and depending on the position of the armature what it does is it activates one of these electromagnets as it's going around sequentially and that turns the motor just like this one there's a there's a commutator see the commutator right there this one is a uh, a simple uh, uh, deal too. So it's the same principle. Anyhow, let's uh, let's crank it up and uh, see there. Old Bill within. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Good, he didn't crash on my motor. So you can see it's going to be a good project. I'm firing this right now with two D cells, and uh, it's it's moving out, out pretty good. So I'm going to have myself a whale of a time with models. I mean original models. I want to show you something. This uh, motor, I have all the parts for all this stuff, and you can see this. Uh, there's a low speed gearbox there's a high speed gearbox look at this one a right angle drive gearbox motor driven doesn't that look fabulous a horizontal it's called a horizontal worm drive gearbox look at that I'm going to build them all guys and I'm going to make videos I'm going to show them to you and, and look at this one it's called a drum gearbox I'll be able to build every one of these with the original motor. The original motor. And then I'll be able to go back in the back of this uh, and build uh, some of the original, some of the prize. Here's a first prize. I'm going to build this one, a swinging saw with the original motor. Won't that be neat? Old fashioned erector set. Original stuff, guys. Bill and Red. And a very, very sleepy, sleepy robot signing off, wishing for you and yours a wonderful day ahead. And my robot says, Sayonara, friends. He snores. Sayonara. Snores, guys. Snores. Sayonara.